everyone. I am Dr. Akhil Tauri, pediatric spine surgeon working at SRCC Children's Hospital managed by Narayana Healthcare. As we all know, spine surgeries have been dreaded because of the complications such as paralysis, bleeding, infection, as well as implant related complications over the years. However, in the last couple of decades, there have been significant technological advancement which have made spine surgeries not only safe and efficient, but also functionally extremely rewarding for the patient. Here I would like to briefly give an overview of all the technological advancements that we routinely employ while performing pediatric spine surgeries at SRCC Children's Hospital managed by Narayana Healthcare. Number one, guidance for placement of implant. Now in, uh, at Narayana we routinely perform extremely complicated spine surgeries that require complex reconstructions. Uh, they usually require deployment of uh, implants in the form of screws and rods. Uh, into the vertebral column. Uh, in such deformed bones, the margin of error for putting the implant is minimal. Uh, one or two millimeters of uh, difference can make, can result into huge catastrophic complications for the patient. In order to make uh, the placement of the implants accurate as well as with high precision, we routinely use uh, image intensifier also called as a specialized x-ray or a fluoroscopy in the operation theatres and we also depend upon navigation to make the implant uh, placements safe and efficient. Second, neuromonitoring. So uh, we also use uh, uh, neuromonitoring for all the pediatric spine surgeries. Now uh, to briefly explain what is neuromonitoring, uh, I like to give an analogy with uh, regards to an ECG. So just as an ECG is used to tell us about the functioning of the heart, we use neuromonitoring in order to know the functioning capacity of the spinal cord. The beauty is that we can use the neuromonitoring while performing the surgery. So if we have performed any step that has jeopardized the functioning of the spinal cord, we are able to pick up the distress signals via neuromonitoring and are able to reverse the steps. This has been a game changer and has led to significant reduction in neurological complications uh, such as paralysis and bladder bottle involvement after spinal surgeries. Number three is uh, using uh, pre-operative planning uh, as, a, you, as a big tool uh, for planning out our complex spine surgeries. So uh, while dealing with uh, severe deformities such as scoliosis and kyphosis, uh, we not only use MRI, CT scans, CT angios as well as three dimensional CT scans, sometimes we also use something called as a 3D printing. So we make a life size model of uh, the patient's spine and then study it pre-operatively so that we are able to execute uh, proper, uh, properly the surgeries and in a safe and efficient manner. Number four, I would say is uh, endoscopic spine surgeries as well as uh, uh, magnetic growth rods. Now if uh, you tell me which, which is the most exciting tenet in the last decade of spine surgery, it has to be endoscopic spine surgeries. Uh, the beauty is that uh, with the help of only keyhole that is minimal incisions of uh, around 5 to 6 millimeters, we are able to execute uh, uh, some of the spinal surgeries. Uh, that not only makes uh, the scars very cosmetically appealing, unlike the ugly scars of an open surgery, but the patients are able to come out of the surgery quite faster and uh, it is definitely a boon for uh, uh, performing pediatric spine surgeries. Also, uh, while dealing with congenital scoliosis or scoliosis, uh, that is the spine deformities which is uh, there uh, in patients quite early on in their life or the early onset scoliosis, uh, sometimes uh, traditionally we had to uh, put the patient under anesthesia and perform repeated growth rod surgeries. Now with technological advancement we can use something called as a magnetic growth rods so that the patient doesn't have to undergo anesthesia again and again to lengthen the spinal cord while the child is growing. And most importantly number five is a multimodal team approach. So pediatric spine surgery is just one aspect of uh, taking care of patients uh, with spinal problems. Uh, we have to heavily depend on our colleagues as well for uh, providing uh, intensive care support after the surgery. We have to depend on the respiratory physicians, uh, pediatric neurologists, sometimes pediatric neurosurgeons as well as physiotherapists. Uh, it is imperative that a multimodal team approach be carried out to get the best possible outcomes. 
here at uh, SRCC Children's Hospital managed by Narayana Healthcare. Uh, we are fortunate to have all these uh, multimodal uh, treatments and all my colleagues who are extremely experienced and easily available and accessible for uh, giving best outcomes to the patients. So these technological advancements I wouldn't say have made the complication rates zero but they have definitely helped in making spine surgeries as safe as they have ever been in history of spinal surgeries. Thank you.